Be careful, babies. If you jump on the bed, you can fall. It's just that we're so happy with our big girl beds. I know, but you still need to be careful. Remember what happened to the five little monkeys jumping on the bed? They fell down and broke their head? Yep. I have an idea. Mommy, can we pretend we're the five little monkeys jumping on the bed? Oh, that sounds like fun, Susie King. But we'll have to do it some other day because all of our friends from Stories with Toys and Dolls are here already. And I'm going to show them the new rooms. Hi, friends. So here we are. I finally made the new rooms for the babies. And I put their bunk beds since they don't sleep in cribs anymore. Here we're in the girls' room. They're very excited, but I'm going to leave them in their beds while I show you guys around. Here, I put some different colored flowers. On this side, they have a sofa, a nice window, and on this other side, they have a dresser with a mirror. There's a drawer here to put their stuff. Here's their favorite perfume. I have two combs because since we have a lot of girls, sometimes it takes too long if they comb their hair one at a time. They have a lamp, the mirror. Oh, and this part is super fun. If I press this button over here, the dresser lights up and makes sounds. So while the babies rest for a bit and relax after their excitement, how about I show you guys the boys room? I want to sleep on the top bunk. No, I want to. I called it first. Not true. I did. Babies, don't fight. Our friends from Stories with Toys and Dolls are here already, and if you guys keep arguing, they're going to feel bad. But I want to sleep on the top bunk. But it's not fair. I called it first. Okay, okay. We won't discuss that right now because I've invited my friends to come see your room. So, in the meantime, both of you will take the bunk. Later on, we'll decide who gets the top bunk. So this is the boys' room. I decorated it with trains and an airplane. And on this side, we have a window where they can enjoy the view and this super comfy sofa. On this side, they have a dresser where they put their clothes their toys, their school supplies, and basically all their stuff. <gasps> Friends, it's 7.05! Oh, it's past their bedtime! I usually start getting them ready for bed at 7 sharp, and it's 7.05! But that's okay, because a lot of you have been asking me to do a night routine for the babies, so guess what, friends? This is a great opportunity to do it! So let's start. Like I said, they start getting ready for bed at 7 sharp. Well, 7.05 today. <laughs> the first thing we do is take a bath, their clothes, and put them in the clothes hamper. One at a time, I get them out, dry them, and put on their PJs. Once the baby has her jammies on, she goes to brush her teeth. And while one is washing, I'm getting another one in her jammies. Okay, babies, who still needs to brush their teeth? I already did! Me too! Me three! All right, all the girls are ready for bed. So let's get back to their new room with the big girl beds. I think they're going to sleep very well here. But mommy, can you also spray this room with the anti-nightmare spray? And can you bring the anti-nightmare superhero to get rid of all the bad dreams in the room? Sure, Navari, I was about to do that. Get in bed, and here's the anti-nightmare spray and the anti-nightmare superhero. I'm going to spray some in the room. And here's the superhero getting rid of all the nightmares. Room, room, room. Oops, <laughs> the anti-nightmare guy knocked down the perfume. Oh, he doesn't know the room yet. And while he does his job here, I'm going to give a bath to the boys. Okay, boys, it's your turn to take a bath. Oh my goodness, I'm supposed to give the second group their bath at 7.30 sharp. And it's 7.35. We're still five minutes behind schedule. I'll try to hurry to make up for it. 
But mommy, why do we have to take a shower every day? Oh, well what happens is that during the day, a lot of tiny bugs stick to the body. And if we don't wash them off, we can get sick. But how come I never see the tiny bugs swimming in the bath water then? Oh, it's because they're super tiny. Aw, I wanted to see them too. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, that would be so much fun. And we only need Barry Watts to brush his teeth. It's eight! Yay! We caught up! And we're right on schedule now. I think the boys brush their teeth super fast today. So let's get to bed. Mommy, Lloyd can take the top bunk. I like the bottom bunk better. Hmm, on second thought, I like the bottom bunk better too. That's great, boys. I love it when you solve your own problems. And here's the anti-nightmare superhero. Vroom, vroom. I'm getting rid of all nightmares and all scary things. And now very quietly, I'm going to the bathroom. Because I'm going to do the laundry while the babies go to sleep. Down here, we have the laundry room to wash the baby's clothes. I have an iron here because I like to keep their clothes looking nice and without wrinkles. Here's the soap. And I'm going to get the washing machine started. And while the clothes are washing, I'm going to go to the nursery to put the younger babies to sleep. And I'm going to mix the formula to feed the babies Nancy, Itsy Boop, and the Glitter Nurlies. Hi Itsy Boop, here's your bottle. And now I have this towel here to burp her. There we go. Now let's change her diaper. Friends, I'm going to finish putting them to bed. Look, Juro! They're about to catch him! I don't want to look! I'm afraid that he's going to escape again! Alright, Atole and Churro. It's time to get ready for bed. Mommy, give us five more minutes. The show is almost over. All right, just a little bit longer because I don't want you two to go to sleep too late because we have to wake up early tomorrow to go to school. A few days ago, I did a bedtime routine for the Nurleys and you guys were asking about Churro and Atole. The thing is, they sleep in a different bedroom. So today, I'm going to show you their bedtime routine. Here I have my clock. And today, we're on time, because I always get Churro and Atole ready for bed at 8.30, a little later than the other babies, and after I give them a bath, I put on their pajamas, and they use the potties, and after that, they brush their teeth. Guess what, kids? I bought you new toothbrushes! Yay! 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 I want blue! I want blue too! Just like Churro! Oh, but Atole, I bought you a pink one, because if both of you have the same color toothbrush, then you'll get it confused. Aw, but I wanted a blue one. Yash, Atole, you have to listen to Mommy. Your toothbrush needs to be a different color than mine. All right, Atole, it's your turn now. No, I wanted a blue toothbrush. I'm not going to brush my teeth. While, while Churro and Atole brush their teeth, I get their beds ready and also pick a story that I can read to them before they go to sleep. Mommy, is it true what Churro said? Oh, what did he say, Atole? That there's some little guys in our teeth with picks that if we don't use toothpaste and water to scare them away, they'll make holes in our teeth. I didn't say that. I said that they look like little guys with picks, but I didn't say they were actually little guys. Oh, Churro is talking about cavities. And yes, Churro is right. The cavities can damage our teeth, and that's why we always have to brush our teeth really well. Can you tell us the story about the mouse dentist that was afraid to work on the cat's teeth? 
Oh, yes, of course. I'll go get that book because I was going to read you a different one. So I'll be back. You wait for me right here in your beds and I'll be right back. Choo! Look! I can jump on the bed better than Fidgets and Bosney! get some ice from the kitchen. You lay in bed and stay there and don't jump anymore. <laughs> Churro! It's rude to laugh at people when they fall. <laughs> I'm not laughing because you fell. <laughs> I'm laughing because you look like a unicorn with that bump. <laughs> like a unicorn. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Atole, I'm back. Put this bag of ice on your head. No, Mommy, I want to stay like this. With that bump on your head? Yes, because Churro says I look like a unicorn, and I love unicorns. Oh, is that so? All right, Atole, then let's go and look in the mirror so you can remember how you look. And now we'll put on the ice because it's not safe for you to sleep with a bump on your head. Okay. All right, kiddos, now it's time for the good night kisses. Mwah, mwah. Okay, cover yourselves with your blankets. And now close your eyes so you can picture in your heads what I'm reading to you. Once upon a time, there was a mouse dentist who was the best dentist of all. The only problem was that when Mr. Cat had to get his teeth fixed, the mouse dentist was afraid to have him in his office. Okay, friends, it seems like Churro and Atole are fast asleep now, so I'll turn off the lights, and I'll turn on this little light in case they need to wake up in the middle of the night to go potty.